This video is going to show you how to calculate the slope of a straight line on a graph. Here's the graph. It's a position versus time graph. I want you to find the slope of the line that's on the graph. Pause this video and calculate the slope. You're not going to learn anything unless you try it, so go ahead and calculate the slope the same way you would do it in a math class. So pause the video now. At this point, you should have paused the video and found the slope, so let's verify it. So you're looking for the slope, you would have gone over and up, basically making a right triangle. You remember that it goes over 9 blocks when I count them and up 8 blocks. Slope is rise divided by run, so that will be 8 divided by 9, or 8 ninths. Looks great, except it's wrong. And the reason why it's wrong is because each block doesn't have a value of 1. They have different values, so each block is worth more than just 1 or less than 1. So let's figure out how to find the value for each block first, and then find the slope. To find the value for each block on the vertical direction, I'm going to pick a range. So I've got a couple different ranges. I'm going to pick the number 15 and 0 as my range. 15 minus 0, those two numbers are on the axis. And I'm going to divide that by the number of blocks between 15 and 0. So I'll count the blocks between 0 and 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 blocks. Therefore, each block has a value of 15 divided by 5, which is 3. 3 units per block. That's the value of each block. Now do the same thing uh, horizontally. Oh, by having the value of the units of each block, I can fill in the gaps between 0 and 15, because 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 0, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, negative 15. Now let's do the horizontal. I'll pick two numbers. This time I'm going to pick a different range, just for the sake of varying things up. I'll go from 5 to 25. On the top, that's going to be 25 minus 5, two numbers from the axis, divided by the number of blocks between my two numbers that I chose. So there are 10 blocks between 25 and 5. So 25 minus 5 divided by 10, 25 minus 5 is 20, divided by 10 is 2. So 2 units per block horizontally. You can see they're not the same and they don't have to be the same. 3 units per block vertically, 2 units per block horizontally. Using 2 units per block, I can fill in to figure out what each line is worth. Now I can find the slope. Recall that slope is rise over run, so that's what I'm going to calculate. And whenever you're finding the rise or the run, it's always the final value in the vertical direction for rise minus the initial value in the vertical direction for rise divided by final minus initial for the run. It's always final minus initial. The final value on this graph is the one that occurs later in time. So it's the value that the point on the graph that's farthest to the right. If I look at my point that's farthest to the right, I can see that it's at 23 seconds. And in terms of the rise, it's going to be 15 meters. That'll be 15 meters minus a negative 9 meters, because 9 is the one that's uh, the initial value. 15 meters minus negative 9 divided by the run. The value that's farthest is 23 seconds minus the initial value, which is 5 seconds. Remember, the final value is the one that's farther to the right on our time scale. So that's final minus initial. That's going to be 24 meters divided by 18 seconds, which I can reduce to 4 meters divided by 3 seconds. So it's 4 thirds meters per second. That's going to be the slope in this section. What's different about this from a math class, besides these units, is also the units, uh, the value for each block, that is, is the fact that it has units. The slope has units. To calculate the units of the slope, it's the units on the vertical direction divided by units in the horizontal, or units of the rise divided by units of the run. Now, here's an example problem. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Find the slope of this line. Pause the video. Find the slope. When you're done, restart the video again. At this point, you should have found the slope of this line, so let's see how you did. Let's first find the value for each block in the vertical direction. I'm going to choose to go from 20 to negative 20. So I'm going to find the absolute value of these two, the difference if I was to say on a number line. So 20 minus a negative 20, that's going to be 40. 40 is the difference if I was on a number line, divided by the number of blocks between them. If I count the blocks, it's 8. Not 10, like in the previous example, you've got to make sure you count the blocks. 8 blocks. 40 divided by 8 is 5 units per block in the vertical direction. Now I can fill in the space between the 0 and the 20, and the space between the 0 and the negative 20. So I know the value for each line. I can do the same thing horizontally, going between 20 and 30. The absolute value of these two is going to be 20 minus 30. That's equal to 10. And if I count the blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks this time. 
So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 units per block. Don't assume it's the same number of blocks between numbers as in the vertical direction. You need to check. So horizontally, it's 2 units per block. And now I can fill in the gap between the numbers. At this point, I can find the slope. Slope is rise over run, and that's going to be final minus initial for each for the rise and, and the run. Final value, remember, is the one farthest to the right, so in this case, the one at 24 seconds. Final value, negative 20 feet minus the initial value, which is going to be 15. For the run, I'm going to have 24 minus 10. That's going to be the initial value. So that ends up being negative 35 divided by 14, or negative 35 feet divided by 14 minutes. I can't reduce this, so that becomes the final answer. That is the slope of the line, negative 35 fourteenths feet per minute. Don't forget the units. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring out the units of the slope, there's another video on this section of YouTube that goes through six example problems of how to find the units of the slope from a graph.